wrap up. Today we are going to be learning about atomic structure. Today we are going to be learning what? Atomic structure. How is the atom arranged? How are the electrons, the protons, and the neutrons? How are they arranged in an atom? If you say that this is an atom, how many electrons do you have? One. Surrounding the word nucleus. Surrounding the word nucleus. The nucleus is made up of protons and what? Neutrons. Made up of what? Protons and what? Neutrons. With electron doing what? Revolving around it. With electron doing what? Revolving around it. That is the structure of what? An atom. That is the structure of an what? Atom. Every atom, whether it is atom of sodium, oxygen, fluorine, you understand? Chlorine. All of them have a nucleus at the center. Then electrons do what? Revolving around it. Is that clear? That is the structure of what? An atom. And that is what we call what? Atomic structure. What is atomic structure? It consists of a centrally placed what? Nucleus. Centrally placed what? Nucleus. This is the what? Nucleus. It's centrally placed. It's in the, on the center. You understand? And this nucleus contains what? Protons and what? Neutrons. It contains what? Protons and what? Neutrons. Which is what? Surrounded by a cloud of what? Electron. By a cloud of what? Electron. Is that clear? So, every single atom of any element must have these three things. Must have these what? Three things. Number one is what? Proton. Number one is what? And this proton has a mass of what? One. An electrical charge of what? Plus one. Electrical charge of what? Plus one. So where is the proton found in this atom? Where? Inside the nucleus. nucleus. Inside the nucleus at the center. Is that clear? Yes. Then secondly, it must have a what? Neutron. And this neutron has a mass of what? One. And has a charge of what? No, no charge. Neutron is also inside the what? Nucleus. Then you now have an electron having a charge, a mass of one over eighteen forty. Is that clear? And a charge of what? Minus one. So if you say that every atom has equal number of electron and what? Proton. Let's say this one has how many electrons now? One. This one must have a proton of one, what number? One. Is that clear? So because this is to ensure the electrical neutrality of an atom. Because this one is minus, but yeah, yeah. electrons are what? Minus. Protons are what? Plus. plus. So when there is minus one here and plus one, it will be what? Neutral. It will be what? Mm -hmm. Neutral. If this is this atom has an atomic number of five, and there is five protons here, and also five electrons here, what will be the, the, the charge? It will also be what? Neutral. Because Five cancels what? Five. Five, five positive and five what? Negative. Is that clear? Yes. So, the, 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 the phenomenon that ensures that there is the same number of electron and what? Proton ensures the what? Neutrality of the what? Atom. That's why every atom is what? Neutral. You understand? Because it has equal numbers of what? Electron and what? Proton. So the proton is having plus. If the atomic number is 20, the proton will be having what? Plus what? 20. If the, and the electron will be having minus what? 20. Minus 20 cancel plus 20 makes the atom to be what? Neutral. Is that clear? Is that clear? Now, the first shell is known as the what? K shell. The first shell is known as the what? K shell. K shell. Always have it in mind as we go forward. Is that clear? Can we go forward? Yes. I hope it's very clear. Yes. So whenever you talk about atomic structure, you are talking about the what? You are talking about a, a, a neutral atom that has a nucleus of a positive nucleus. You understand? Yes. And an electron crown that has negative charge. Is that clear? Yes. Now let's talk about the electron history. Distribution. Let's talk about the what? Electron. electron distribution. How the electrons are distributed. How the electrons are what? Distributed. 